Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be painting Be Happy. So get your canvas out and ready. You need your plate with your paints on there, an assortment of brush sizes. Um, your canvas is bigger. So on top of, you know, having maybe these three smaller sizes, you're going to want something a little bit larger. Um, some sort of vessel for your water and a paper towel to dry off your brushes or clean up any spills. In this particular painting, we're also going to need a Sharpie. A black Sharpie marker is best. I don't really recommend anything else. With this, we're just going to trace over the word happy. This way, when we paint our background, our word will show through. Alright, so now we can get started with the paint. I'm going to just mix up a nice light blue color to do my sky kind of area. Sorry, I have a hair dangling off me I'm fighting with. So we want this to be a light blue but still kind of dark. So I'm just going to start by mixing in a little scoop of blue and with quite a bit of white. And this is going to dry darker. So make sure also that you are stirring up enough of this paint to fill in that whole top area. You don't wanna have to run out and make more because your color won't be quite the same. You also don't want this to be too light of blue because the word happy is going to be painted in white. And if it's really light blue, that white on top of the light blue won't have enough contrast where you can't really make out what it says. So just a nice kind of medium to light shade of blue. Something about like that. You can even go darker. I'm gonna go a little darker. Not quite all that blue, but it's oozing, getting in my way. Yeah. I like that. I'm just gonna come in and fill in. I've got that light spot. I'm gonna eventually get that worked out by just blending back and forth with my new blue. And as I paint over this word, I'm just very thin paint. And as it dries, it does become easier to see. Just no globs, just nice thin layer right there especially. And I'm always yelling at you, no globs. But especially right there, you don't want globs. And just nice long, even strokes. I'm gonna come around all your petals.
Okay, now we can move on and do the daisy. I'm going to clean out my brush and to start, I'm just going to do all of the petals white. I'm gonna, actually, I can't use my great big brush because this is all white and I don't really need to be too careful. I don't want super thick paint because I want to be able to see my pencil lines. I'll just get this spread out. They're faint, but I can see them. Getting a nice, thin, even coat of white paint on all of my petals. Now I can start kind of adding in some shadowing colors. I use my medium sized brush. You can still use your big brush. Your flowers are quite large in comparison to mine. My canvas is just an eight by 10 and you have a 16 by 20, most likely. Um, so I'm gonna start with just a tiny, tiny bit of yellow. So I want a nice clean spot of white and just a little bit of yellow. I'll stir that in and it's very, very pale. I could even probably add a little bit more white to that. Oops, I got a little blue, that's okay. So with this very, very pale yellow, I'm just gonna brush on kind of down here and the base and I'm kind of doing it radiating outward. So the base of all my petals kind of changing up how long the length is, some are maybe a little longer, shorter. And then I'm gonna brush just the tiniest little bit through some of the petals. So I'll just do maybe some of these front ones, just very, very subtle. Just kind of gives them a little bit of a nice bright glow sunshine hitting on them and maybe a little on these back ones just a smidge as you can see it's just very very subtle so when you are mixing up your color just make sure you have lots of white in with your yellow it's barely the shade of butter so now we're going to do a little bit of a light light blue so I've got some white here, and then I'll just take a little bit of my background color. I'm getting a little yellow in with it, but that's okay. It all smushes together in the end. I'm gonna go a little bit darker than that. I just add a little at a time, that way I can get the shade I want without you know, going too far one way or the other. So something about like that gonna roll the excess paint off my brush here. Should probably just take a towel to it. And with a little bit of this light blue, just a little on my brush, I'm just kind of dabbing it off. I'm gonna start piecing out individual petals. And I'm just very light handedly, just wisping my brush across. So right now I'm working on the ones that are in front. So you can see the full petal. I'm 
You need to come up around the curve. Maybe a little bit. Tiny little bit of paint on my brush at a time. So I've worked on, I've got all the ones that are kind of in front, I've brushed blue on. May have gotten a little sloppy in a few spaces and gotten the back ones, but that's fine. We're gonna make those just a little bit darker blue. Um, I want it to be kind of a more like a gray shade, a little bit on the slaty side. So I'm just gonna start with just this tiny bit of black stirred into some of this light blue color. And it's gonna kind of get this gray tint to it. And then just a tiny bit of my blue, I'm gonna stir that in as well. So I've got this kind of grayish blue color, more blue than gray, definitely. And with this darker blue, very little on my brush, I'm gonna focus more on my back petal. So the ones that lay in between that we don't see the full petal, so right in here in this crack. Oh, that could be a little darker. A little darker, more blue, smidge more black. Oh, well, that ain't no joke. Okay, that ought to show. We're gonna use just a tiny bit. We wanna use this sparingly. So here we have this one in here. I'm just kind of darkening up in that little crack. And it's so little paint. This one, I got a little crack here. I'm gonna get it kind of brushed in the crack. This one has a bit of bigger gap. And lightly brush it up. So little paint on my brush. I keep saying that because that's important. If you get way too much paint on your brush, you're gonna have a hard time getting it all spread out. So here, this one's a little behind. We're gonna, so we're doing it darker on the back ones because they are behind and this is kind of a bit more shadow. So it gives a more, more dimension to your flower. And this one's got a pretty good size gap. Focusing more on edges there. Here we've got a good gap. Okay, so I'm gonna lighten that color up just a little. Um, let's see, let me find some white here. So just a little area of this color, I'm gonna stir in more, more white. here. I want to add in just a little bit more. A little on the petal. Just a smidge. And now in that color, I'm going to take just a little bit more black. This time it's going to look much more gray than blue. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that grayish blue, more gray than blue, blue. <laughs> just kind of help define a little bit of my shadow area. Very little paint on my brush. Kind of get my edges of my petals kind of defined a little bit better. Be a little bit more on these back petals. And if you get too much on, like, mm, I don't love that, just take a little touch of white. Go 
go kind of right on top and it'll just bring it back down. It won't be quite as dark anymore. So I really, really like that. I think that turned out nice. Now I can work on the center of my flower. And I'll start with a nice dark brown. The paint is, I'm holding it up, it's kind of blob together. So dark brown, black and orange stirred together. About the same amount of both colors till you get a nice rich dark brown. I'm gonna try to avoid that yellow. Even if I get a little in there, no biggie. So nice dark brown, black and orange together. About the same amount of both. Go ahead, I'm gonna flip this just to make it easier on me. Let's go ahead and get that whole center filled in. We will layer later on top to make it lighter. But this is just the base. Nice dark rich brown. Try to keep your edges smooth and even. A little bit of a pencil mark I wanna get covered there. There we go. So while that dries, I'm gonna come up here and start my bees. Um, I'm going to use my like my small square brush and to start I'm just going to paint them black. I'll worry about my stripe later. So our first bee is going to be right up in this area. So we got the word happy and I want my little bee to be right in here. So I'm going to start with just a little bit of black on my brush and I'm going to make a little like circle for the bee head. You don't want this to be too big or, you know, you'll have a giant bee by the end of it. So there's this little head, and then off of the head, I'm going to kind of make an intersected, like, um, kind of like an almond shape. And then I'll just fill that in black as well. So the head actually comes down into that almondy shape. And I'm gonna have another little bee just coming off the corner here. So I'll kind of run his head off the top. And then again, the body, kind of an almond shape. I guess we could have just done the almond shape, right? And he's just running right off the edge. He's got a little point, a little stinger. Oh, I like that. Let's do it to this one. Give him a little stinger. So while that's drying, we can do our word happy. And that's just white paint trace over the letters. Uh, make sure this down here is dry where you can rest your hand. So it, it's a lot easier. I need a little clean spot of white. My blue has taken over it. So, you don't need a lot. I just need a little clean white spot. And I'll just come in and I'm gonna trace over where I have that Sharpie. Probably should be using a like long skinny pointy brush but I have this one in my hand why well, switch now
Okay, so I'm also going to put in like little dash lines that are like the little bee trail, which I will use a long skinny brush for. So off of my Y, I'm going to bring my Y up just a little bit more. This one I'm going to just have kind of do a little loop-de-loo and right back to his little butt. And this one, he's going to be doing lots of little loop-de-loos coming from over here. One, we got two loop-de-loo. And then I'm going to do a third one that just kind of goes right to his little butt. And I just kind of dash the line. I could have been a little dashier. I kind of drag my brush a little much, but you'll want to do like a little dash line that kind of shows them kind of buzzing around. Okay, so to finish up the bees, I'm going to use my smaller kind of flat brush and I'm going to put white stripes on him. And later when they're dry, I'll paint them yellow. So right where his head connects, I'm gonna do a little stripe and I'm kind of curving the line to help make his body look round. A little sloppy. I'll skip a little space for black, do another little stripe, and then one last little one on the end. And I need to take a itty bitty brush in there maybe and clean up my edge, but my bee had to be tiny, fit on my tiny canvas. So we have that one, and let's stripe up this guy. So stripe at the top, a space, another stripe, and one more little stripe. And you can always touch back up in with black. I probably need to on that one. You got a little, you got to get a messy. So I'm gonna let that dry. Come back in later and do my yellow for the stripes. Meanwhile, I'm gonna come back down here to my flower in the center of it. And I'm gonna mix up some of this orange and with my yellow, keeping it quite yellow. And I'm gonna add a little scoop of white to it. So I kind of like this yellowy orange color. And I'm just gonna, I probably don't need that much on my brush. And I probably should flip it just so that I can get at it better because my lip of my easel is such a burden. So I'm just gonna brush this on back and forth over top. Kind of letting a little of that brown come through. And then a little bit of yellow, just stirring in my dirty brush. A little bit of yellow and a little bit more white. And I'll just do a little bit of that on top as well. Okay, so now I can do my yellow stripes on my bees. Just gonna go right over top of that white with, it's just a plain yellow. I'm definitely gonna need to get in there with my black and clean that up a little. As I get a bit sloppy. So, my tiny brush. I'm just gonna go clean up my sloppiness with a little black. This one is kind of a mess. That looks a little better. What did I just do that for? My goodness, it's all right. It will be covered by wings, hopefully. 
So for wings, I'm just gonna blow this dry quick so we can get the wings put on. And we're just gonna use white paint and basically just paint little hearts side by side. I'll show you. square brush, a um, little bit of white paint, and from the center of the bee's back, I'm gonna start a heart, comes up. So I've got a heart there, and then I'll attach right at the same point of that other, that heart. I'm gonna do a heart that comes down this way. So there's his little wings. I'm just gonna fill them in with white paint. There's that one. And this one, he's kind of coming off the edge. Oh, my freaking canvas jumps on me. I'm just going to have it go right off the edge there. Kind of buggered it up when my canvas moved. But you would do the same thing. But since this actually does go right off the edge, you don't really have to worry about the heart, like the humps of it. You just kind of... Get the wings on there. I'm just doing another quick coat. And let's give him some little antenna. I need a teeny brush. Probably a, this one, the shorter brush will work better. So here I just have a narrow brush. I'm gonna just take a little bit of black on my brush. A little bit of black. And just do like a little, little swirly thing coming off of his head. And all done. I'm going to sign my name. Um, I'm just going to use this like grayish blue color. Thin it with a little water. Just stir a little water into the paint off of my brush. And right down here, I'm going to write my name. And I believe I'm done. I should have checked it out before signing, but either way. I'm just going to step back and give it a look over. Oh, you know what? We do need to get a little bit more kind of, yeah, yeah. Handy dandy, I have the color I need on my brush. So it was that grayish kind of blue color that we rubbed up in here. It was pretty much the last color we used to put in some shadows. I just wanted to define down in here a little bit more. So I'm just gonna kind of sketch in some loose little lines, just kind of like folds. I guess like when the petal's opening towards the base of the, the center of the flower, it's a little more wrinkly. So I'm just gonna, I'm just putting in a few little lines that kind of radiate outward. Missed that earlier. Sometimes you just gotta step back and look at it. Make sure it's got all the parts you need. I'm dribbled it on the center of my flower layer. And it's a little dark brown. All right, done. So when you finish, um, take a picture of your work for me. I like to see your finished product. I have a post pin on the very top of my Facebook page, Willy Millie. You can just share them there. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.